Hi friends! My good friend Miss Engel has invited me to share some of my favorite Jack Prelutsky stories with you. And these are some of his more famous poems, and he's got a bunch. Um, I saw a video on him lately, and he said if you take all of his poetry ideas from the notebooks that he's collected over the last 40 years, and you stack them on top of one another, they would probably go higher than your ceiling. So he's written many, many po poems. Now, what makes him so good as a children's poet is he writes about things that you like. He writes things about hamburgers and ice cream and sleepovers and aliens, and I've picked three of my favorite ones to share with you today. Now, if you're looking for other really good children's poets that you would really enjoy, one you would like, his name is Shel Silverstein, and he happens to be my personal favorite. And when your Tulsa City County Library branch opens up somewhere next to you, have your parents call and see when they're open. They may be open now, I'm not sure. You can go down to the library and you can request Jack Perlutsky books. And you can also request uh, Shel Silverstein books. And I've got those books in my library, too. So if you want to wait until you come back in the fall, we can let you check out some of those as well. So, I have picked one that I'm sure that you'll enjoy. It is called Homework Oh Homework. Now, I'm going to read this one, but the king, I've invited him to read a couple of more. So here we go. Homework Oh Homework by Jack Perlutsky. Homework Oh Homework. I hate you, you stink. I wish I could wash you away in the sink. If only a bomb would explode you to bits. Homework, oh homework, you're giving me fits. I'd rather take baths with a man-eating shark, or wrestle a lion alone in the dark, eat spinach and liver, pet tin porcupines, than tackle my homework that my teacher assigns. Homework, oh homework, you're last on my list. I simply can't see why you even exist. If you just disappeared, it would tickle me pink. Homework, oh homework, I hate ya. You stink. <clears throat> and that's Homework, oh homework by Jack Perlutsky. I love that one. All right, so the king wants to help me with the next two. This one is called Louder Than a Clap of Thunder. And the king actually wants to sing it for you. So I'm going to prop them up real quick. And then I'm going to have the king sing it to you. King, come on, my man. Are you ready to sing to Miss Ingle's class? Oh, hello there, Mr. Stokely. Of course, I'm ready to sing. What type of song would you prefer? Well, I have one of Jack Prelutsky's poems, and this one is called Louder Than a Clap of Thunder. You think you can handle that one? Okay, my man. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Louder than a clap of thunder, louder than an eagle screams, louder than a dragon blunders, or a dozen football teams, louder than a four alarmer or a rushing waterfall, louder than a knight in armor jumping a ten foot wall, louder than an earthquake rumbles, louder than a tidal wave. Louder than an ogle grumbles as he stumbles through his cave. Louder than a stampeding cattle. Louder than a cannon roars. Louder than a giant's rattle. That's how my father snores. <laughs> Pretty good, my friend. Give me a high five. Perfect. All right, King. How about one more? Okay, here we go. You guys will like this one as well. And it's probably his most favorite, famous, I mean, that most of you have heard. So here we go. This is called On Top of Spaghetti. You think you can handle this one? Okay, here we go. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball rolled right out the door. And
land under a bush. Now my poor meatball was nothing but mush. The mush was as tasty as tasty as could be. Early next summer, it grew into a tree. The tree was all covered with beautiful moss. It grew a lovely meatball in tomato sauce. So if you like spaghetti all covered with cheese, hold on to your meatballs and don't ever sneeze. Hey, good job, my friend. Achoo! Oh, come on now, King. Give me a break. All right, friends, so there you go. My three favorite Jack Prelutsky poems. And once you get one of his books, I want you to tell me next fall what your three favorite poems by Jack Prelutsky are. So here we go. We love you all very much. Miss Engel, my best buddy, how are you? How are you as well, Miss Engel's class? I miss seeing you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye bye.